Ah, the Swiss band. <laughs> They're really taking us into the weekend. Yeah, Charlie. I, 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 oh, I almost, almost want to take uh, the microphone and do some karaoke. <laughs> but today is not the day for that. <laughs> today is not the day for that. Well, it's time to talk about the high school poetry contest. And we have, you know, the Ghana Association of Writers together with organizers of the Ghana International Book Fair here. And it's happening on the 26th of August, but they will tell us about it. Good morning. Good morning. Ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Mm -hmm. How are you doing? <laughs> Fine, thank you. Fantastic. <laughs> Welcome to Breakfast Daily. Thank you. All right, so um, what's, the, what's the, um, the motivation behind this, you know, SHS poetry contest? Okay, so um, Apioko is here, you know, the revolution started long, long before we stepped on the soils and then we keep going. Mm. And so, you know, that we have had different poetry phases, performances, yeah. events, and it's now about time for us to move formally into the <coughs> educational platform. And of course, there's no other institution to lead this than the Ghana Association of Writers mm. and then the possible affiliates. And so that's inspiration. So we, we have had informal performances, activations, revolutions, in order to make poetry have it its right place within the community. And now it's time for us to step into the schools and get them along. Of course, we have poets and spoken word artists mm. in the schools. Yes. You know, Helakasa has had so many of this event moved around and stuff. Mm. Now we want to have a contest and looking at what they study, you know, Spoken word, people can de decide to do performance on their own. Yeah. And now we want to help them appreciate poetry in classroom. So this is the concept behind the mm. high school poetry mm. contest. Mm. Bring the, the practical of poetry yeah. into the, the classroom. Theory so we want to have a studio, the, the practical studio yeah. for the, yeah. the poem they are studying in school. That's wonderful. I like it. I like so, it. Mavis, the Ghana International Book Fair has been going on for years. Mm -hmm. And why? Are you interested in collaborating with the Ghana Association of Writers for this particular contest? Well, the Ghana International Book Fair has been going on since 1996. And every year, the main focus of the book fair is to celebrate Ghana's rich culture through books. And what other way to celebrate our culture through poetry? Mm. So we believe that through poetry, we'll be able to showcase Ghana's rich culture to everybody who comes. It's an international book fair, so it's not only going to be Ghanaian participants who are there. People are going to come from all over the world to partake in this celebration. And the poetry is going to be a way for them to see Ghana through the poet's eye. Mm. So we are very excited about the Ghana International Book Fair, which is coming off next week, Thursday to Sunday. And we are hoping that you're all going to be there to support us. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Now tell me something. It has often been said, usually in humor, um, but it's not very flattering that if you want to hide something from an African, <laughs> put it in a book. From where you sit with the Book Development Council, how true is that? Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly speaking. Well, yeah. honestly speaking, okay. So let's take it from the book fair angle. Mm. And the theme for this book fair is reforming education industry for the future generation. Okay. So we believe that it's never too late to start. Mm. No matter where we started from, no matter, yeah. we've made a lot of progress. Mm. That if, if we say we are still in those days of those adages, that means that we are not being truthful. <laughs> there has been a lot of progress. Even our education system yeah. is okay. being structured in such a way that reading is also a core part of it. Okay. So we've, 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 we've come from a long way mm. and we still have a long way to go. Cool. Yeah. From our perspective, we believe that we are doing all that is possible that so that at the end of the day reading and um, even the entire Ghana becomes mm. a literate community mm. Mm. and from Ghana book industries perspective we always try to bring together stakeholders to ensure that yeah. for instance for the book fair we believe that by so doing we are making books accessible mm. because if you are saying that people should read people should read and they can't even find the books the they books want to read it's going to kill yeah. their interest so the through book fairs we are making books accessible yeah. We have other programs. For instance, we brought together stakeholders mm. and we bid it for the UNESCO World Book Capital mm. um, title. Accra has been awarded as a UNESCO World Book Capital City for 2023 to 2024. Nice. 
and it's going to be huge that's from massive. April. Yes, yeah. from April next year, there's going to be a lot of poetry um, activities, mm. a lot of book fairs, a lot of exhibitions. We are not going to leave the arts and culture bit out of it. Mm. We are going to build the capacity of our book industry players. The theme for the Accra World Book Capital Celebration is to read to connect minds for social transformation. Okay. So, like you are saying, yeah. if you be, if, if oh. in those days we we're hiding things in the in book. book. Now, now we'll, we'll find we'll the book because yeah, we'll there's find going to be a social it. transformation <laughs> that you know, everybody is going to read. So yeah. it's, I, 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 don't, I don't subscribe to that idea that if you only hide something from a black man, mm -hmm. put it in a book. Mm -hmm. The question, like you mentioned, accessibility. Mm -hmm. No, it's, I know City, T, uh, City FM has writers' projects. Yes. Yes. The question is, have we created an environment for people to have access to the books? Mm -hmm. And so they that's have the key. So the problem yeah. is not that people don't want to read. Mm -hmm. How many libraries we have? Yeah. How many literary events we have That's around? Cool. Yeah. Have we created the literary ambience mm. for them to read the book? And I think what you're saying is very important because that's why this competition then becomes exactly. necessary. Know, and young people love contests and competition. Yeah. So then it whets the appetite. And even with a book fair like itself. It. I mean, mm. for me, I think if you give the books to them, you create the environment and you don't read, then of course you then, can say Then it's on you. But you haven't given them the environment, yeah. you don't say they don't like reading. That's what it means. Thank you very much. Thank you. Fantastic. All right, so we'll be talking about the SHS Poetry Contest that's coming I on. I will be there. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> All right, we'll take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.